if you want a clear skin, even glow and long lasting scent, you have to layer your body care products in this order I'll be stating in this video. I found peace in your violence, can't tell me there's no point in hi guys hi beautiful people welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new here my name is akune kamsi and i'm a content creator based in abuja and if you're not new here you're very much welcome back to the channel so in today's video i'll be discussing in details how to properly layer your body care products for a clear skin even glow and long lasting scent so in this video i'll be emphasizing on each step I'll be letting you know the function and importance of each step in your body care routine. Also know that every single step I'll be stating in this video is very, very important. If you want a clear skin, even glow and long lasting scent, you have to layer your body care products in this order I'll be stating in this video. So if that's what you're looking for in this video, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up, please subscribe and let's get right into the video. So the first step, which is step one in layering your body care routine is pre-cleansing. As the name goes, pre-cleansing just simply means before cleansing. This is something that you do before deep cleansing your skin. So this is something that you have to do before you go into the deep cleaning of your skin. This helps to remove dead, sweat, excessive oil from the surface of your skin to get a clean skin. This is just like the base. This is like the starting point, right? So, for pre-cleansing, you have to get a pre-cleansing bar. So, like Dove bar soap, um, Olay bar soap, St. Ice bar soap, Extracts bar soap, um, Johnson Johnson bar soap. The bar soaps are used for pre-cleansing. So, pre-cleansing is just basically taking out all the excessive oil, dirt, sweat from the surface of your skin to give you a clean skin, a clean base. So in this stage, make sure you're using a gentle and mild bar soap. Please don't use brightening soap or brightening wash or brightening bar soap in this stage. This is a mistake most people use. There is a stage for your brightening soap. So the importance of pre-cleansing is that it ensures that your body is properly clean so that the other body care products you'll be applying after pre-cleansing will be effective one of the important things about bar soap is that it contains sulfacants and these sulfacants are agents that help in cleansing your skin properly sulfacants help in taking out excessive dead oil from your skin and giving you a very very clean skin like when you use a bar soap you'll notice that your body is clean so you see your body wash your body wash cannot replace pre-cleansing bar soaps or pre-cleansing soap or bar soaps in general because most body wash are moisturizing they don't have these suffocants that will strip out every gong and dirt from your skin so that's why i said pre-cleansing is very very important using a pre-cleansing bar soap first is very important this just helps to take out everything from your skin if you ask me between a body wash and pre-cleansing bar soap which one i should pick i would pick a pre-cleansing bar soap because pre-cleansing bar soap takes out everything from your skin don't get me wrong though, i'm not saying body wash are not good we'll talk about that one when we get to that stage but pre-cleansing bar soap helps to take out everything from your skin so it just gives you a clean base to work with and if all these things are not taken out any other thing you're doing you're just cannot penetrate into your skin cannot be effective and once a product can't penetrate into your skin it will not be effective step two which is exfoliation so for this stage this depends on your skin type and the product you will be using on your skin so like we all know there are different skin types there's oily skin there's dry skin there's normal skin there's combination skin and there's acne prone skin there's even sensitive skin i would advise that you should now use your physical scrub for your body because your body can handle physical scrubs now so when you all say don't use physical scrub on your face but you can use them on your body and there are different types of physical scrub which is sugar 
salt and body polish so because body polishes are gentle so if you have a dry skin i would advise that you opt for a body polish and as a dry skin person you should avoid salt scrub because salt scrub can be very dehydrating so salt, salt scrub can be very harsh and they can strip your body from a lot of moisture from your skin but if you have an acne prone skin and an oily skin it is advisable to go for a salt scrub it is better for you because this just helps to unclog your pores better right so if you have a normal and combination skin you can use any of them you can use both a uh, body polish or salt or sugar scrub right then if you have a sensitive skin please opt for a body poly so the important of exfoliation basically is to remove oils dead skin cells from your pores so exfoliation tends to open up your pores right it tends to cleanse your pores make them open so that any products you will use can penetrate into your skin they also make your skin very smooth and soft so if you see an exfoliated skin you will know not only is this skin not only does it open your pores so that when you use your body lotions your body butters they can penetrate better and you can see result of this product you're using exfoliation also helps to take out so by the time they're taking out the dead skin cells from the surface and layers of your skin you will see that your skin is not only soft it's also smooth and even so the next step or the next stage which is stage three is body wash now you need your body wash for deep cleaning so the importance of body wash is to moisturize your skin and pamper your skin and also starts to create a good foundation for layering of all your fragrance so there are different types of body wash in the market right if you want to brighten your skin you can opt for a brightening body wash you want to target wrinkles fine lines anti-aging this is where your retinol body wash come into play then if you want to smell nice you know you want to have a long tray of scent this is where your scented body wash comes into play i also want you to note that when it comes to brightening and clearing hyperpigmentation on your skin your brightening washes cannot do much this is because body washes are not a leave-on product so they are something you just use and then you rinse off so it's not like they don't penetrate into your skin but they will not go on a deeper level as a leave-on product right so body washes brightening body washes and body washes for certain skincare concerns are good right yes they are good but they are not the best solution for solving that skincare concern because they are not a leave-on product they are product that you will use and then you will wash off if you, they are rinse off they are the word is called rinse off they are rinse off product so they are not products you leave on your skin they are products you will use then wash off so they are not going to give you optimum result as a product that is a leave-on product i don't know if it makes sense right? like i said in pre-cleansing that you're not meant to use a brightening soap in your pre-cleansing stage right so yeah this which is stage three which is where you use body washes you're meant to have a body wash but you can alternate between your body wash and your brightening bath soap like your koji sand soap this is the stage you should use anything brightening faded brightening soap these are this is the stage you should use those brightening soaps you can't be using brightening soap every day right I wouldn't advise you to use your Codisan soap every single day. So you can alternate. So today I use brightening soap. Tomorrow I use my body wash. Next tomorrow I use a brightening soap like that, like that. But where does your brightening soap come into play in this body care routine? Layering of your body care routine is in stage three, which is the body wash stage. Right? I hope this makes sense. So the next step, which is step four, in your body care your layering of a body care routine is body serum this is very important i know most people don't know about this but this is very very important body serum is a thing and has always been a thing this is very important if you want to 
tackle a certain skin care concerns. Like I said, serums are packed with serums are products that are packed with a lot of actives, right? Just like the way you have your facial serums. They are concentrated, uh, body serums, facial serums, are, anything serum, they are concentrated with a certain kind of active. This serum should be used for a certain skincare concern. So if you if you want to target a certain skincare concern, you should opt for a body for a body serum that targets that skincare concern. So skincare concerns like hyperpigmentation, dull skin, anti-aging, wrinkles, uh, acne, they are body serum for those type of skincare concerns. So these body serums contains active in high concentration. So basically body serums are just there to target your skincare concerns. These are optional. If you don't have any serious skincare or body, you know, any body care concerns, have anything that is literally disturbing you now, this can be optional for you. But for someone that is battling with a certain skincare concern, I will advise that you add body serum that will target that skincare concern in your body care routine. So the next step in layering body care routine, which is step five or stage five, is body lotion slash moisturizers. Now there are different types of body lotion slash body moisturizers. This can be categorized into two types. You have the treatment body moisturizers and you have your daily body moisturizer or body lotion. So daily moisturizers are just moisturizers that are there to provide moisture for your skin they're just there to moisturize your skin basically daily moisturizer so they're just there to moisturize your skin so these products are infused with hydrating products like ceramides um glycerin hyaluronic acid you know popan the oil they're basically just infused with humectants and infused with hydrating products that will just hydrate your skin on a daily basis right why treatment moisturizer on the other hand there are moisturizers that help to treat certain skincare concerns for example maybe moisturizers that target brightening moisturizers that target anti-aging moisturizers that target dull skin moisturizers that target acne prone skin so treatment moisturizers are just moisturizers that target a certain skincare Consign. right example of treatment moisturizers you have amalactin you have medix 5.5 right you have advanced clinical retinol creams you have advanced clinical vitamin c creams you have nivea vitamin c creams these are basically moisturizers that target a certain kind of skincare concern so amalactin for uneven skin for um, acne prone skin, advanced clinicals retinol for dull um, anti aging skin, um, ad advanced clinical vitamin C and Nivea vitamin C for brightening of the skin, skin with hyperpigmentation, right? Then for daily moisturizers, you have your Nivea, you have your Ole, you have your Scent Ives, you know, you have your Doves. These are just moisturizers that will just moisturize you on a daily so they are the main aim for these certain moisturizers or lotions are just to moisturize daily moisturization basically so when picking out body moisturizers body lotions there are things you should put into consideration there are basically three things you should put into consideration which is your skin type your skin consign and your skin complexion right skin types like i said before dry skin oily skin acne prone skin and um, sensitive skin normal skin combination skin you need to know your skin type For me i have a dry skin when it comes to my body but i have a combination skin when it comes to my face so you can't use the skin on your face to judge your body you need to judge your face and your body individually so basically you need to know your skin type for your body there are people that have oily skin. There are people that have acne-prone skin on their body. There are people that have combination skin. Maybe their leg is dry. 
their body is normal there are people that have normal skin all true so you need to know your skin type for your body now you need to know your skin concerns for your body what is what is disturbing you your body you have body acne do you have hyperpigmentation do you have wrinkles aging do you have um flabby skin which is lack of collagen you know this skincare concern what is bothering your body in general for complexion you need to know are you chocolate are you fair are you caramel this will help you in picking out a good body lotion slash moisturizer so also know that the general importance of a body lotion slash moisturizer is to add moisture and hydration to your skin if your moisturizer says otherwise Please, that moisturizer is not for you. In as much as you're looking, if you're getting a treatment moisturizer to target a certain skincare concern, still your moisturization or your moisturizer or your body lotion, the main aim for that thing is to add hydration and to add moisture to your skin. So the next step in body care routine is step six, which is your body oil slash body butters. These are very, very, these body butters, body oils are very important. I see most people say, oh, I don't use body butters. I don't use body oil on my skin. Body oil, body butter is very, very important if you want a glowy and even skin. So body butters and body oils are very important because they help to penetrate your skin on a deeper level. And this helps in blending your complexion. It helps to lock in all the hydration you've done for print cleansing down to what's it called? Down to your body lotion. So they help to even out your complexion. They help to lock in all the moisture. So you must use a body butter and a body oil. They help to lock in all the moisture, all the hydration you've done so far. Also give your skin an even radiant glow. You see all those girls that you see them looking like say your skin is glowing your body is glowing they use body butter they use body oil so if you have acne prone skin combination skin and oily skin i will tell you to opt for a body oil just because they are lighter they will tend they tend not to clog your pores and they just give they just deliver the benefits without causing any damage to your skin or if you have a dry skin or even a normal skin i will tell you to opt for a body butter just because they are thicker in consistency and they last longer so if you have a dry skin a normal skin even a sensitive skin you will enjoy body butters when picking out body butters or body oil you cannot just go into the market and buy any body butter or body oil but there are certain oils you should look out for when buying a body butter or a body oil if these oils are not in your product please just forget about it because this these that products will not be helping your skin on the long run these oils have shown to help in brightening penetrating your skin better and even giving you an even skin and glow on your skin and these oils are jojoba oil avocado oil shea butter almond oil rose sheep oil cocoa butter coconut oil and argan oil so please make sure when getting a body butter or a body oil please read the ingredient list to check out if these oils that i just stated are in that product for you to see effective results so the last and final step in body care routine in layering your body care routine which is stage or step seven is body sunscreen applying a sunscreen is very important because after doing all this step from one to six and you don't use a sunscreen and you're going walking under the sun and dancing under the sun you are just wasting your time sunscreens are very important i'm not saying you should apply sunscreen from your head to toe what i'm trying to say is that apply sunscreen in places where your clothes doesn't cover your skin for example if i'm going to be wearing a like a shirt like this that i'm wearing obviously i'm going to apply sunscreen on my hands if i'm wearing a skirt i should apply sunscreen all over my leg but if i'm wearing trouser i will just apply sunscreen on my feet if i'm wearing a long sleeve i will apply sunscreen on my hands 
so i'm going to be leaving options for body sunscreen on the screen please apply body sunscreen especially if you're going to be using body serums which has high concentration of actives and even when you're going to be using treatment body lotion please use your sunscreen it's very very important also note that everything stated in this video you can't use them on your face this is strictly for layering body care for body care routine if you want to see how to layer your face care routine i have a video already on my channel i will link it up somewhere and also put the link in the description you can go watch that one for your face but everything stated in this video basically and strictly for your body so this comes to the conclusion of this video if you found this video very helpful please don't forget to give me a thumbs up please subscribe please hit the notification bell to know when next i post my next video and if you have any question about this video please don't forget to leave it in the comment section i will be there to answer all your question and i will see you in my next one bye guys i love you so much thanks for watching <laughs> Room 2110, I knocked on the door at the penthouse suite Cause I needed more from you